Welcome back to the United States of America, guys. Today, we are going to fix America's shattered economy. I am truly do apologize that I have actually not been posting um, this this series for the past couple of weeks. Um, unfortunately, um, there has been a lot going on in my life. Um, I have been working. My girlfriend, unfortunately, did lose her grandfather, and I have just been with her, and I have just been trying to comfort her. So, YouTube has been on um, the back of my mind as of late. However, um, I am now off for the next week, and I am actually going to take this time to edit, to record, and on Tuesday, I am going to be officially doing the interview between me and Eversim. It is a long time coming. I have finally scheduled an interview with Eversim, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to go ahead and again fix America's shattered economy. So, how are we going to fix America's shattered economy? First off, we need to um, go ahead and start looking at our tax laws. We have a couple of tax laws that are going to be... Um, we actually are still trying to pass the Federal Revenue Act, which is set to pass today. Let's go ahead and go to the next day. Meeting request with Justin Trudeau. Let's go ahead and do that. Nickel imports from Indonesia. That has gone past, and that is also it. So let's just go ahead and come over here. Health and Social Security. I am possibly thinking about cutting funding, but that's not um, something... Okay, so we do have a 4% deficit. Uh, what do we need to do to get rid of that? Um, let's go ahead and decide this. So... Um, the first thing we need to do, we need to increase our revenue. The easiest way to do this is actually going to go through, going to be um, through industrial pollution. Um, we need to go ahead and do this 2.5. How about 0.7? That's probably going to gain enough. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's going to gain us about $13 billion. The higher we get it, the easier it's going to get to actually increase that in increments. Um, we are going to initiate more growth. That's going to kill off like all that revenue that we want. So I'm not going to lower taxes on anything yet. We may even create more taxes. So let's come over here. We're going to go space research. I don't know if I want to cut funding to that. Let's actually go ahead and do something over here. O Orion, we could cancel that and then just do a complete walking on the moon mission. Which the Chinese and the Russians actually have that. So let's go ahead and get that there again. Um, with we're actually going to go ahead and name this the Artemis program. The Artemis program, actually, if you do not know about that, is the real um, plan for the United States to land on the moon by 2024. Um, let's go ahead and call that the Artemis. And give that 60, okay, go ahead and give that about $70 billion worth of, worth of revenue, worth of funding, actually. We're just going to go ahead and create that. Go ahead and call that Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. They don't, they just don't have a name for them, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, they could, I feel like Everzim could have just at least named, gave them a cool name. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that, Walking on the Moon, Artemis. 71 billion dollars worth of revenue or funding we're not going to accept that we just need to go ahead and maybe partner with another nation help them get there or we're just going to do it ourselves uh we're going to go ahead and come over here we are going to get rid of some of our older technology and we're going to go ahead and yeah we have so many tanks uh let's go ahead and dismantle some of these tanks we need to get rid of a lot of our older tanks. We're going to get rid of about 1,000 of them. You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of just 75%. It's about just 750. Um, this is going to help lower our budget. 
over time. So let me see what immediate effect that actually had. I think it did. Um, not that. We have a lot of older drones. Let's go ahead and just dismantle a good amount of them. Um, let's go ahead and dismantle about a thousand of our older ones. Yeah, that does have an immediate effect. Because we do spend a lot of money on the equipment of the Artemis Space Program. Let's go over here to energy. We're going to be investing some money into getting rid of fossil energy. Let's go ahead and look at that. Our um, surplus is 150 terawatts. And our consumption has gone up by about a terawatt since the beginning of the game. We're just going to come over here. Let's go ahead and invest in possibly... No, we actually already have the California Highway um, high-speed rail going on. So we're not going to do that. We have the creation. Indonesian heads of state signed historic contract for $3.8 billion. So we need to just start increasing our... Wow, what happened to our deficit? Where did all that money come from? Was that... I think we actually... We did something. We got a lot more money from somewhere. I completely forgot what we did. So let's come over here. Legislation. So our deficit is being doing better. We're um, actually going to be... Up, we're possibly even going to be able to pay off some debt in our next uh, payment. No, looks like uh, looks like this next quarterly loan is going to be pretty hefty. About two hundred. <coughs> we do have a projected two hundred billion dollar loan. We're going to have to incur um, in this next uh, in this next quarter. Um, hopefully, we do not do that, or at least it's going to be a less um, than that. So let's go ahead and check on these, and we're going to go ahead and um, meet with our creditors to go ahead and start working on lowering our interest rates. Can't meet with ourselves. Except our next loan is only going to be, well, we don't know what the other countries are going to lend us. Let's meet with Australia. India. Definitely Brazil. Let's see who has the highest interest rates that we actually have a real... Um, let's go ahead and move this to Friday evening. Who's the second highest? Taiwan. Yet they go right all the way down to... Let's meet with them. We're gonna meet with the with the lenders from China and Taiwan. Let's do all that. Tell him he's radiant. Blah blah blah. How are you? What is your? You are a very moral character. You're not gonna take a bribe. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Okay, that was like 11%. And for some reason it like bugs out. Let's go ahead and do that for like 10.8. Prefer... Oh, f*** you. Do you wish to make us? Two point seven five. Very well. We Bad. Okay, let's go ahead and get past that song so we don't have to deal with copyright issues. Ever Sim, I really, really think that you should fix that. Very well. What kind of We're gonna go ahead and go for one point five right here. Damn. 
I think uh, they're, they're, I think their things are always usually dependent. Oh no, don't tell me it's a riot. There's a riot in Wichita. What's the reason why? Popular upheaval. We are hearing that violent Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like uh, these things are gonna be have to be put on hold. Well, go ahead and um, give the army to attack the order to attack. What are you doing? And what is your proposal? Natural gas sales. They want to sell me natural gas. Let's go ahead and do that below here. Probably going to do it way higher than our purchase price, so it's going to be really hard for us. Send 404. Bet. So we just got some natural gas coming in. And we got more creditors that we have to meet with. I think uh, this guy was actually for the evening. Let's go ahead, keep going. Okay, nice taxes. Gold mine, taxes on the highway system, true, true, true. Self fragrant fiber, fragrant fabric, new space program, Jupiter, Prague. I don't know what country that is. International lender from Australia. Go ahead and sweeten butter them up. And then let's go ahead and go in for the kill. Let's go ahead and do a one and a quarter. Ugh, damn, I'm doing a little too much on these. Tax on the industrial pollution. We're going to go ahead and go back and try to get that to go up. Also, uh, recent news out of Australia. The conservative government has actually... Um, let's go ahead and do one... 0.35. The conservative government from in Australia actually won their election. They were actually not um, expected to win. The Labour Party in Australia was actually expected to win by at least a very small margin, but to defy expectations, um, the conservative party in Australia actually did win though they did win by coalition and that is a very it's not the best way to govern um i don't pr I, that it's the one reason why i don't like um government such as uh such as the parliamentarian system that the united kingdom australia a lot of those commonwealth nations actually adopt um those vi those those con those t kinds of uh of governments actually are very inefficient way more inefficient than the united states in my own opinion um in the comments below go ahead and give me your opinion what is your opinion on parliamentary and congressional style of government which one is more efficient which one holds more bureaucracy do you think australia and the united kingdom have a better form of government um or do you think that um do you think that um, the United States has a better form of government. Go ahead and leave your comments down in the, down below. Um, in any case, and also, um, I think, I don't know which government was actually promising on make, making Australia a republic, um, but there is a possibility in coming years that Australia will move toward a republic and ultimately leave the Commonwealth um, Commonwealth of Nations that the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom uh, formed after um, the dissolution of the, um, let's go ahead and do 1.2. So 1 0.15, that's gonna generate 100 billion. See, this, this is the point to where um, this, this becomes a cash cow. Um, and that's a very, very good thing. It also helps the environment, lowers CO2 emissions. I could actually start sometime soon on a tax on a highway system to make every every way every uh, highway a tollway. It would kind of hurt a lot of people, especially um, people who try to avoid tolls um, whenever they drive across the United States. So 
I think I would just do something elsewhere, especially just the tax on industrial pollution. Los Angeles is a very ugly, con ugly city, um, so that would be a very interesting thing to do to um, do something like that. Let's actually go ahead and since we are actually getting more and more money, let's go ahead and increase our funding in our infrastructure sector. So we're going to go ahead and do a Los Angeles, San Francisco high speed railway. That is a very um, big accomplishment. We're going to go ahead and get that done in 11 months, $15 billion, $70 billion over the next five years. Go ahead and confirm that. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, one thing I actually really want to do, they're good choices and good for their expansion. Um, something that I really want to shoot for is getting a high-speed railway with Mexico. If we can actually start connecting California all the way into Baja, California, and some of these larger cities in Texas, such as Austin and San Antonio, more, more likely San Antonio and Houston, into these northern Mexican cities... That would be that would actually be um, a huge step um, for relations between the United States and Mexico. So that is going to be something I want to concentrate on in future episodes. Um, go ahead and come over here. Let's go over to work. Unemployment is going up. It's go. It is now at three point nine four percent. It's about to hit four percent. Um, so that is uh, something we may want to start looking for. Go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and defund. The unemployment agency however we're going to give full funding to um, helping young people find work and older people find work so we're going to use that money um, we're also going to fund um, child labor at its fullest and what else are we going to do combat employment discrimination checked on unemployed receiving payment no Integration of handicap. That's actually pretty cheap um, to actually fund with the money that we're being that we're using. And then checks on gender equality. That's going to give us a total net um, budget of about eight hundred twenty-nine million dollars going into the economy. It's not the best, but um, I'm also reallocating that money elsewhere in the in the uh, the same sector. So that's something that I really, really do want to look for. What else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and look at some legislation we can do. Um, do we want to increase or decrease the minimum wage? However, um, minimum solidarity allowance, I maybe not. Um, average working week is 34 hours. Number of hours that each full-time employee spends in paid work with fixed hours. This number has an impact on, on, on employment and purchasing power. Let's go ahead and decrease that to 30 hours. Okay, so Congress is not going to be for that. Let's go ahead and maybe attach it to a reform. Or we can just decrease it by about two hours. Congress is going to be for that. So go ahead and do that, and then we're just going to get it down to about um, 30 hours um, in the next cycle. Ouchie. What else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and do some spending and editing in um, health and social security. Um, we are spending $1.7 billion trillion dollars in that. What do we want to do on the consumption of marijuana? Do we want to legalize it? Or do we want possession and consumption independently regulated by the locality? Which means the states do it. Or do we want to pursue a federal legalization of marijuana leave your comments down below tell me what i should do i think i'll also leave a poll in this video um, to let you guys do something on that um, setting the age for alcohol consumption should i lower it to 18 or should i keep it at 21 or should i increase it to 25 leave your comments down below um, let's go ahead and do something else um, tax exemptions go ahead and um, I think I'm actually going to save that because I actually would need that if I need to um, legalize marijuana. I would have to attach it to that reform, so that's something I'm going to do. Battling endocrine disruptors. Let's go ahead and give that some additional funding. $2.3 billion going to the battle against endocrine disruptors. Um, also, increase funding against cancer. 
um, fight against AIDS. Go ahead and do some additional funding. Um, let's go ahead and increase our funding um, three times um, against cancer because um, on a personal note, yeah, um, my girlfriend uh, did lose her grandfather um, to cancer. Um, it is a very, very bad disease and it's something um, I've never really had to deal with. Um, and experiencing that and um, knowing the guy, um, I didn't know him as much as I would have wanted to, but um, she um, is definitely just heartbroken by his loss. And I do give her give my condolences to her. And um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, but it's just something that um, it's, just, it's, it's just not a disease that just needs to be around. Obviously, that's I know I'm stating the obvious, um, but if you've ever lost someone from cancer, I'm truly sorry. Um, it's just something, it's, it's really hard to think about. Um, what else can we increase funding to? I don't know if we want to cut funding. What if we cut funding into that? That just, that just cut off $2 billion for occupational medicine. Let's increase funding to oof, maternity leave. Eleven billion dollars is how much that's going to cost. Coverage for work accidents. That's twenty-two billion dollars. What is our deficit and what is our th um, thing? So that's going to increase four point one trillion dollars. Um, let's go ahead and just increase our um, spending by about eleven billion dollars, and increase our hospitals. Let's go ahead and add. An additional 100 hospitals across the nation, $6.8 billion we would be using. 2,100 hospitals across the nation. Retirement age, how much would it cost if we wanted to lower it to 65 for both? Let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be an, an additional $15 billion. Ooh, Congress is gonna run against that. That's gonna be very unfortunate. Congratulations. Undoubtedly, you'll remain to face the combat for gender equality in our country. You can count on all of us and our vote. So, looks like 2020 is in the bag. Good job. So, we're actually gonna go ahead and rely on the women vote um, in that area. Um, immigration, I'm gonna concentrate on in the next episode. Education, that can be on for another episode. Um, AIDS, let's go ahead and start cutting aid. We are giving Syria $3.5 billion. Let's cut that by about $3 billion. We're only going to give them $500 million. We're going to go ahead and also cut um, aid to Pakistan entirely. Afghanistan, India. Um, Kenya. How much are we getting in Kenya? $500 million. So we did cut. So we our total aid is now $16 billion. We're going to go ahead and go to the next day. Large decrease in economic aid. Obviously, they just lost $3 billion in revenue. Very unfortunate for Syria. But we don't want, we're, we don't want to support that government. We don't want to support the Assad government. Which is very... Mm, the Assad government is obviously very bad, so we don't want to do that. Um, our laboratories have just perfected into new biomaterial, biodegradable plastic. Let's go ahead and sell that to the world um, to help plastic bags become more biodegradable so there is less plastic across the world. So we're going to go ahead and patent that and sell it to other countries. And let's go ahead and commission another nuclear power. Ooh, we actually are not producing any 3G nuclear power plants. Let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to go ahead and commission one in Southern California. We're going to go ahead and commission three new 3G nuclear power plants. We're going to commission one in California, one south of the DFW Metroplex, all right, let's go ahead and go over to environmental funding. Since we are now investing in heavily into our energy sector, we're going to go ahead and start increasing our funding 
toward the environment. Um, and the environment does have a way better um, aspect in the 2019 edition. You definitely have to increase that funding to the environment. It's very, very important that you do. So let's go ahead and look at our um, CO2 emissions. CO2 emissions are going down. That is very, very good. Um, and before we actually go today, we're actually going to go ahead and look at the global menace. What's going on in the global menace? Um, let's go ahead and for one, change that song. And two, look at, we are doing awfully bad. Ocean acidity is very, very bad. It hasn't actually changed since the beginning of the game. Obviously, it can't really change because um, we are only in February of the of this. Um, we actually are going to start increasing. Um, we're going to build a lot of these CO2 capture areas. Um, let's go ahead and invest, um, incur the cost of this. And we're going to go ahead and give a tax credit for um, people who invest in um, renewable energies in their homes. So let's go ahead and pass that law before we go. Republicans are staunchly against it in the Senate and the House, but there is enough Democratic support in the House to actually get that done. So there is a benefit to actually having the Democrats control the House, um, in my opinion, at least. Um, I don't know about you guys, if how you guys are. Um, Secret Service. Let's go ahead and increase funding to Agent... Good Lord. Never mind. Increase it by a little bit. Cybersecurity. Oh, God, that is expensive. $11 billion. Wow, that is, we need to, we need to slowly do that. So housing, let's go ahead and come over here. Let's look at our finances. Dow Jones is at 24,000, about, just about 23,300. And our growth is going down. Um, I don't know about that growth bug that that has actually been fixed. I don't know if that has been fixed. Hopefully it has. GDP world share is going down. Um, our exports have gone up to 3.5 trillion since the beginning of the game. That is uh, probably wrong. Um, I don't know about these imports. Like, this is just ridiculous. Why are we importing $22 trillion worth of product? Um, so our trade balance is negative $18 trillion. Um, in any case, guys, if you like this episode, we just suffered some terrorism. Right whenever I try to go. Oh, this is just the assassination. Hopefully it was not a cabinet member. It was not. But in any case, guys, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check me out um, on Twitter. Go ahead and follow my Twitter. Um, possibly think about uh, doing my Patreon. I'm actually not really concentrating on my Patreon. If I get more people going to my Patreon or whenever I actually um, start coming back, then um, I will actually start concentrating concentrating on my Patreon more. But Patreon is not the most important thing right now. Go follow me on Twitter. Um, I may start doing more Facebook on my Facebook page. I do have a Facebook page. I do have all the links in the description down below. So guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, I will see you guys in episode 3 of the United States of America on Power.